Comment Jovid Estes, born June 9, 1944, is a journalist and the first Puerto Rican woman use anchor in Puerto Rico. Comment Jovit Estes, daughter of Manolin Jovit Farut and Donia Comment Cuca Estes, was born and raised in Maguez, Puerto Rico into a family where having a good education was important. She was considered a gifted child and quickly advanced in school. She started making speeches when she was six years old, first appeared on radio at the age of seven with radio personality Pedro Ojda on W. Proem in Maguez, and by time she was twelve, she was a competent orator. She enjoyed participating in her school's extracurricular activities. She was a member of various academic groups, including the school's drama club. Jovic graduated from high school when she was 14 years old and enrolled in the University of Puerto Rico on a scholarship. When she was 17, she graduated with honors with a bachelor's degree in political sciences. Jovic's first job was at Whipper Channel 6 where she hosted a program called Club Says and later a program called Fabrica del Lot. In 1968, Jovic caught the attention of Leopoldo Santiago Lavandero, who invited her to join his production Panorama Mundial as a reporter. At the same channel, a few years later she was offered the position of anchor for one cent la noticias at Channel 11, and thus became the first Puerto Rican woman use anchor on the island. In 1975, Jovit founded her own independent production company and became the host of a show which investigated and interviewed public figures. Among those interviewed was the president of Venezuela Colos Andres Perez. She also covered the arrest of Puerto Rican actress Lydia Echevarria. Jovit hosted the TV show Sabado en Grand Big Saturday for a short time before joining Channel 2 where she hosted her own show, Common, Jovit, Controversial, a talk show in which the public was encouraged to participate. In the 1980s, she hosted a daily television broadcast that followed the adjournment of the day's Puerto Rico Senate public hearing about the controversial Cerro Maravilla incidents on July 25, 1978. In 1987, the governor of Puerto Rico, Rafael Hernandez Colon, named Jovit as the official coordinator in charge of the official state visit of the King and Queen of Spain. In 1992, she was named the director of communications of the commission in charge of the fifth centennial celebration of the encounter of the two worlds. She was the host of a program called Ahor Podemos Habla, transmitted through Telemundo TV. Among the many recognitions bestowed upon her are However, perhaps her greatest recognition is the fact that she is known universally in Puerto Rico as La Muja Noticia. Comen Jovit is currently active as a radio commentator, hosting her own radio talk slash news show, a Notiuno radio network 630 a.m. from 1 a.m. until noon. Besides her career as a journalist, Jovit was an occasional actress and had a small role in the 1989 film Brenda Stoss starring Brooke Shields. In the aftermath of the January 12, 2010 earthquake that devastated Puerto Prince Haiti, Puerto Rico, then Governor Luis Fortunio asked her to coordinate a telethon to benefit the Red Cross's Haitian relief efforts. The telethon raised over $3, 3 dollars, 3 cents million. In preparation for the telethon, Jovit, along with Puerto Rico's Secretary of State and Lieutenant Governor Kenneth McClintock, traveled to Haiti and met and interviewed then-President René Preval, Prime Minister Jean-Marc Spellerive and First Lady Elizabeth de Lata Preval. She held a one-hour weekly interview program, Ahor Podemos Habla, and Whipper TV, Puerto Rico's public television station, and Sunday prime time. After the death of Colos Mamory late in 2014, Jovic signed with Whopper America to substitute him on their show, Low Say To Do, where she is now a political analyst.